today we will discuss about how to install Splunk. So, before installing there are a couple of things you should know. One thing is Splunk requires a specific user to install the Splunk software and it is Splunk recommended that do not run Splunk as a super user that means root user in Unix based systems and administrator as in Windows based systems. And now the user you create to install and run the Splunk should have access to the data sources like, like var log in Unix based system and also you need to keep in mind that non root accounts cannot have access to the ports less than 1024. And also for Windows users uh, you basically needs to set up a domain account if Splunk needs to connect to the other servers to get the data. And if you are using a local account then you need to make sure that that local account can run the services run by Splunk. Okay. And also you need to make sure that Splunk account can access scripts used for inputs and alerts. So, this is one of the prerequisite before you install Splunk. Another prerequisite and, and I think the most important prerequisite is the time synchronization between your server and the Splunk indexer. So, you need to be uh, because Splunk searches are always dependent on the accurate time that means the underscore time field get uh, which is getting indexed when you index the data to the Splunk. So, that means the correct events time stamping is very much essential and also you need to make sure that the Splunk production servers and the Splunk indexer have standardized time configurations. A clock skew between those two can affect the search results and also it is important to know different ports used by Splunk. Mm, by default Splunk D is the main process of the Splunk which basically runs uh, when you when Splunk starts is run on port 8089 even universal forwarder as well in universal forwarder installation as well Splunk D runs on 8089 port by default. Splunk wave which is basically calls the Splunk UI it runs by default on port 8000 web app server proxy runs on 8065 and kv store runs on 8191. Others components do not have any um, default port you can you can set it up when, when you install it. So, to install Splunk you need to first go to splunk.com I came over here and then you need to click on free Splunk. To download Splunk, you need to first create an account over there. I already create an account there. Let me log in. From there, you need to come to the end of the page there is a universal forwarder this is download for universal forwarder and there should be download for Splunk enterprise. Okay. So, now this is the latest version of Splunk 7.1.1 there are two versions for windows uh, I think uh, the users who are using windows 10 they can download this 64 bit version and 32 bit version for older version of windows and there are similarly download uh, you will we'll get download links for linux and mac os as well based on your operating system you need to download the correct version and then for windows currently i am in windows system so for windows you just need to run this uh, msi and it will it will install the package it's a very simple installation you just need to give, provide the path to which uh, in which you want to install Splunk that is all N not much configurations and Windows and for if you download it for uh, Linux version you will get some tzz file you need to unzip it and install Splunk from there. And after installing by default Splunk 
install in this folder C program files Splunk. This is this this is this path is called Splunk home where each and every configurations files apps are installed over here. I will discuss more in more detail in uh, of, of this different folder structures in Splunk as well in, in, in later videos. But this is how, how you install and download, uh, download and install Splunk. But just to be sure, uh, you installed correct version of the Splunk um, because if you install the forwarder version, it do not have any UI and you need to install Splunk enterprise version for your for your visualizations or running searches or those kind of stuff uh, and when you install Splunk enterprise from Splunk website by default it comes with a 60 days license and the indexing limit is 5, 500 MB per day. After that licensing period it will become a free license still you can use Splunks, but there are a lot of features like authentication alerting those those you cannot use at all uh, when you use the uh, free license version of the Splunk see you in next videos